We're not going to be working on the achievement stuff just yet. Um, honestly, I just I don't want to. I was looking through, like, I mean, look, okay, look. Thing is, I got to go to, like, this, you know, and then take a look at, like, the achievements. And, like, scroll down to, like, the part where the achievements aren't at, or at, and it'd be like, okay, well, we have to do Vulture Manor on normal, I guess. Oh, and also on uh, Hell on Earth. Collect all the items on Burning Paris, on Outpost, and on Vulture Manor. Yeah. And it's just, like, it, it's tedious to go through all of this and, like, pick out what I want to do, you know? So I say, what I say is, um, hey, uh, instead of doing that, I'm just going to make a spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to go through once, uh, make a spreadsheet of all of the achievements in the game, take off the ones that I have, um, and then uh, we'll be able to see clearly, you know, what we got. So we'll have, like, one section on the spreadsheet for, um, like, the maps. Uh, we'll have one section on the spreadsheet for the perks, you know, make sure that you do this perk on hard, normal, suicidal, hell on earth, you know, because that's all a thing as well. We'll have a section. So, so okay. So, right, let, let me explain better. Um, we'll have a uh, we'll have a section to um, like for the uh, the maps on each difficulty. So it'll be like you know, Burning Paris, Normal, Hard, Suicidal, Hell on Earth. I have sneeze. Hold up. It's not coming, but it's there. Oh God, that feels bad. Um, so it'll be like Burning Paris, you know. Um, normal, hard, suicidal, hell on earth, whatnot. And then, you know, outpost, and it'd be in alphabetical order, and I'd, I'd have all of the ones that I've done green, and all the ones that I haven't done red, you know? So I'll be able to take a quick look at it and see exactly what, uh, what I have done and what I haven't done. And then we'll have, uh, the same thing for the perks, so, you know, stripe shooter, normal, hard, suicidal, and, uh, hell on earth. Um, and then we'll have... Another section for the uh, collectibles, and then we'll have you know all the maps that have collectibles, and then mark all the ones off that I've done, uh, and then we'll have a, a separate section for the the miscellaneous um, just stuff because you know, you have to do like versus survival wins, um, and I think there's there's a couple of others that wouldn't really fit into the the the, the kind of like standard achievements. Um, and then, and then those would kind of get put there. Uh, and then that would be a, a quick and easy way to, to take a peek at, at exactly what achievements we have uh, completed and what achievements we still have yet to do. I will uh, keep the uh, spreadsheet in the description so anybody who wants can take a, a look at it and uh, you know see see how far along uh, I am in completing my achievements, or you can. Make a copy of it yourself to, to keep track of your own achievements if, uh, if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to do that this weekend. And then after that, it will be a lot easier to, to keep track of what achievements we have uh, yet to do. Which will be good. Which will be very, very good. Because that's just, it's like such a pain in the butt having to scroll through that. And I just, I don't really want to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just, we'll put it off for now. Um, in other news, I, uh, I'm feeling really tired today. You know, what's new? You're tired. <laughs> yeah, uh, I went to bed at 5 a.m. last night. Got up at 10 a.m. And, uh, not a good, not a good combination in my opinion. Not a very good combination. You be dead. Not a very good combination at all. Um, but it is what it is. What's done is done, you know. So, one second, I have, to take, I have to pause real briefly here, okay? Why can't I get to my OBS? I have to get a hockey for this. Okay, let's see, what are we at? <laughs> I had to take a, a, a brief moment to grab some water, a, uh, uh, and, and kind of wait a moment, because I had that, uh, you guys get that, um, that feeling like you're going to sneeze ever, and uh, following that up, You have like this just terrible feeling of sneezing and coughing and 
terribleness in your in your mouth and throat and nose and sinuses and everything. Anyway, that's kind of what happens to me, or it did there. It's not. Uh, it's not a. It's not a. It's not a. Com Normally, I just sneeze, but when I when I hold it in, it. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like holding in the sneezes. I like to sneeze ideally. Feel better afterwards. You know, my, my my eyes get all kind of like stuffy and just not. It's not a pleasant feeling. It's not like bad feeling. It's just it's not a. It's a feeling that uh, I don't. I don't like. I'd like to take a break from it. Anyway, woke up at uh, 5 a.m. Wrong way. I went to bed at 5 a.m. and I woke up at uh, 10 a.m. I was reading uh, Next Level on uh, on Reddit. You know, with the with the, with, the, with the F word in the middle there. Um, and, uh, and I got to, I got pretty, pretty obsessed with it last night. I was reading uh, a whole lot. <laughs> uh, I got to like, you know, 400 or 500 posts down on, uh, on top slash all or on, on the top of, uh, of the subreddit. And just kept going and going and going and I was addicted, man. I was addicted. I stayed up way too late last night. I also forgot to upload the videos that I recorded yesterday. So no Yamachek tries on uh, on Friday, despite me saying that the in that video that, that I wouldn't be recording anything for uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, so so that'll probably go up Monday, uh, probably, and there'll be no videos Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, oh well. The Yamachek tries has always kind of been a. Uh, a series that I don't mind if I miss a few episodes here or there. Like it's it's pretty low priority. It's it's there if I uh, when I want to do it, and if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. Um, the KF2 and the Amajack, or the, yeah, the KF2 and the Gunfire Reborn are a little bit more set in stone, in my opinion. I uh, I'm not really going to not record them. Um, I, I don't really want to miss any episodes on on these because a like the KF2, I've I've gone over this that that it's like my my pride and joy, you know. Um, and the Gunfire Reborn, I mean, I just like the game, <laughs> you know, like, like, with the, with the Amachek Tries, I like the series, I don't necessarily like the games, each individual episode isn't particularly fun to record, and, you know, sometimes you have some bad streaks, and I can't find games to play or whatever, and that's kind of unfun. With, uh, with Gunfire Reborn, even when I'm having a bad episode, you know, we don't really make it very far, or I die in a dumb way or something like that, like, I still, ultimately... I feel pretty good about it still, because I still had fun getting there, you know. Whereas with the Amjack tries when it went the, like with the Amjack tries when it doesn't go well, I'm not having fun. Uh, whereas with the Gunfire Reborn, even when it doesn't go well, I'm still having fun. You know what I mean? So I don't really want to miss any of those, because like that's that's just laziness, <laughs> frankly. Um, but uh, with the Amjack tries, if I miss some, it's just it's hard to find games that are good to play sometimes, you know. It is. It is really, really hard. And, um... Like, right now, I can't really afford to buy games for all of the Amajack tries, either. Like, for each day to have a, a game that I buy anew. You know? It's, it's, not, re it's not really doable for me. Uh, I'm not really rich yet. And, uh... So, it's kind of problematic. But... You know. Such as such as life. Such is life. Right over here. Buy more ammo. You're running low. Any hoozle. Any hoozle. Coming up on the weekend. Coming up on the weekend. I'm excited about the weekend. Um, partially because I'm gonna be making that spreadsheet over the weekend. I know I, I know I don't like to work on the weekends, but like the achievement hunting is kind of a passion of mine. Um, so I don't really consider it. Um, this is the first time we fought Patriarch like this. Uh, I don't really consider it to be work, so I, I want to do it, you know? Like, it's something that I'm going to have fun doing. Be a nice break from work. But I, just, I don't want to do it today, because I've, I've got so much stuff going on and I'm tired. I might end up doing it today, like, I don't know. But uh, basically... Before uh, before the next recording session, I will have it set up. Whether I do it today or tomorrow or Monday or well Sunday rather, 
um, you know, whatever day it ends up getting done at, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> It'll get done, and uh, that'll be that. Um, And then it'll, it'll be really, really nice to have that because we'll be able to take a look, brief glance, and then see what we're missing, what we need, and everything will be well, fine and dandy, you know. Good water, man. I used to not like cold water. I have sensitive teeth, for one. I, uh, you know neglected my my debt or my uh, my dental hygiene for 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 quite some time growing up and uh even even to the day it's 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 you know teeth are, are moderately sensitive not not nearly to the same degree anymore but um you know it, it's uh like it was fairly recently that i that i started not being depressed like in the past few years um and started like actually paying attention to myself at all um but anyway, I had uh, I had sensitive teeth, and um, people people would always be like, "You have sensitive teeth. That's why you always want like." Whenever I'd get like a bottle of water or something, I'd be like, "And can you grab one that's not like in a fridge? Because I, I just don't want the cold water." Um, and then uh, people would eventually you know find out that I have sensitive teeth, and they'd be like, "That's why you always want the the room temperature water instead of the cold water." And like. That's just not it. <laughs> like, it, it it was it was never like about the the sensitive teeth issue. Um, because you know you can drink water without it touching your teeth. It's it's not that hard anyway. Um, so like it, it was never about that. It was just that I I genuinely enjoyed I genuinely enjoyed uh, like room temperature water more than I enjoyed cold water. And these days it, it's done a complete 380. I, I actually enjoy cold water quite a lot more than I enjoy room temperature water. I actually try and get specifically cold water, which I've, I've never done before, like, the past month or so. Which is, uh, is weird. It's a weird change. Maybe it does some cool stuff. I used to always go for the, uh, the room temperature stuff. I used to you know, I would, I would, uh, I would go to the, like, when I was filling up a, a water bottle or something, because I've got, you know, my my water bottle right here. I would um, I would make sure that I did it when the water wasn't super cold coming out of the tap. You know, I wouldn't like you know try and get warm water into there to like mix it and stuff to to get the the perfect temperature water or whatever. Like that's my god. I wouldn't like mix warm water into it to try and get the perfect temperature water because I feel like that. Doesn't work. <laughs> um, you always end up with this like imbalanced kind of weirdness in it, in my opinion. But what I would do is I would turn on the hot water and let it run for a bit, so we'd get hot water coming out of it, and then turn the cold water on and the hot water off, and then after it got to about the right temperature, I'd, I'd fill my water bottle up so it was like not super cold. Didn't have the time to completely cool down. You know, kind of build up that, that thermal mass. I don't do it too often. Usually when I go to a tap, I just grab cold water and it would just be fairly room temperature anyway because that's what's sitting there. Um, you know, it's not until you really leave it running for a bit that you get the, the super cold water. Uh, it was only if I, like, you know, was using the washroom or something like that and I had to, to wash my hands afterwards. Well, no. That's not really, because you'd use hot water for that. I don't know. I don't really know what situation with like brushing my teeth, maybe. Yeah, I think it's brushing my teeth. I think so. <laughs> like, I, I I don't even know. Um, but anyway, whenever I use cold water, which I guess is only really for brushing my teeth, yeah. Um, or for filling up a water bottle. Um, I would... Uh, I would, uh, like, turn on the hot water a little bit, get it warmed up a little bit, turn off the hot water, put the cold water on, fill up my, my water bottle. These days I specifically try and fill up my water bottle after I uh, have been using the cold water so that it is nice and cold and crisp and delicious water and I love it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird sort of shift. It's a weird sort of shift. 
as I've as I've moved towards a, a fan of the colder water. Just a nice, refreshing sort of mouthfeel to it, you know. Come and get your tools of trade. So how's the how's the weight loss going? This cat's back in the game. Not, not. Hey, I haven't been I haven't been gaining weight. I haven't been losing weight. I've been stagnated. It's uh. I mean, it's the first, like, 10 pounds that are really the hardest, in my opinion, as, as an expert on weight loss, as somebody who has never successfully gotten to my goal after uh, attempting to lose weight. As an expert on it, um, I do have some experience in it, because I have I have lost weight before, but at, uh, it's the first, like, 10 pounds that are the hardest. After that, you know, you've got your habits. It's it's, it's really building up those, those healthier habits that uh, is hard. And then... Um, Maintaining them is a lot easier. I mean, it's still not necessarily easy, but uh, it is a lot easier. And then after like, you know, 15, 20 pounds, it's like, in my opinion, brain dead. You know, you, you've got your habits, you, you're doing what you need to do. That's just what you do. It's kind of like uh, with recording, you know? When I first started the, um, the, uh, the whole like, full-time stuff it was really really hard for me to make sure that I got it all I was really stressed the whole time and and it was it was causing me a lot of grief in my life when I was trying to record and stream and, and have all this stuff going on at once you know um, like it, it was causing a lot of grief in my life as I was as I was trying to maintain it all and, and uh, get it going but you know then I then I did it and uh, stuck with it and now I'm here where I, I I'm just like yeah this is just what I do you know, I stream in an hour, yeah, an hour, and it's just like that's that's just I just stream them. It's fine. It's not a big deal. You know, it's I'm not concerned about it at all. I don't even have to think about it. It's just I know that I stream. Well, I, like I have to think about the time, but like I don't have to. It's not it's not a stressor anymore. You know what I mean? Because I'm used to it. It's it's habit. And um, that shift is something that happens when you do anything. Um, whenever you're trying to learn a new skill, or whenever you're trying to practice something, or you improve yourself or whatever whenever you're trying to do something that's that's different from what you normally do it, it's those first few steps that are that are the hardest as you uh, as you build up those habits and get used to following through on it and then once once you're there you're there you know you just have to focus on not falling back but that that's like significantly easier than um, you know making sure that you're not falling back and also progressing at the same time basically you know so I'm uh, I'm not super upset at myself for not getting started on the weight loss yet. Um, you know, I started on September 10th. I haven't lost a single pound yet. It's almost a month later. I could have been down like easily 10 pounds by now, and uh, not quite 10 pounds. Maybe like eight pounds, but like I could have been down, you know, a decent chunk of weight by now, and I just uh, haven't stuck with it. And um, it's uh. Disappointing, but you know, I'm not I'm not beating myself up over it because I know that these first 10 pounds are are really the um, the main challenge. Once I'm done with that, I'm pretty much done with the whole thing. You know, it's gonna be like because uh, I'm recording it. Yeah, you know, I'm recording clips as I as I go for a uh, a vlog at the end of it all. Um, and you're you're gonna be able to see exactly what I'm talking about as it uh, as it happens because. You know, the first clip is going to be recorded on September 10th, my birthday, and then uh, the uh, the next clip is going to be recorded on, like, you know, November or something. You know, 10 pounds down is going to be, like, two months later. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I can't I can't read the future, you know? Um, but it's going to be, like, there's going to be quite a jump between the uh, the day that I, I start it and the day that I, uh, I get the first 10 pounds lost. And then after that, it's going to be like pretty consistently 10 pounds every like the same amount of time. It's going to be much, much shorter um, because it's those first 10 pounds that are just so much harder to to commit to. Um, anyway, I'm not I'm not making excuses for myself. I, uh, you know, like I said, I have I have disappointed myself, um, but I'm not going to beat myself up over. I think that uh, personally, I think that's a problem that a lot of people have where you don't succeed in something and you beat yourself up over it and yet you, and you make yourself feel bad about it. And, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta feel bad about it to a certain extent. You know, like, I, I do feel bad that I haven't committed and, and done it because I'm still fat. 
and that sucks, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, uh, if I, if I beat myself up over it and I get myself all worked up and stressed and depressed about it and sad and that's not really going to be, you know, uh, productive. So those aren't productive things to be doing. Um, so in my opinion, I just gotta, I just gotta work on, uh, being aware that what I'm doing isn't okay. You know, not making progress. Um, still overeating. I have to be aware that, that what I'm doing isn't, is a problem. Uh, and I have to, to, to be aware that, uh, I'm not making progress and that, that it isn't okay for me to not be making progress. Oh my god, I bumped my mouse. Where are we? And, uh, I gotta, I gotta work towards changing that as, as, as I go, but I, I don't have to beat myself up over it, you know? I feel like a lot of people do, and then they get really depressed, and they, they regress, and they start putting on weight again, and I, uh, even in other things, too, you know? Even in other things. You're trying to learn how to draw or something like that, and you, uh, you're not drawing for, like, a few weeks or something like that, and you beat yourself up over it, and now you're, like, too stressed to draw, or you maybe, maybe you haven't talked to your friend in a while, now you're beating yourself up over that, and now you're you're really stressed because you haven't been able to talk to them, and you're like, "Well, I'm really anxious about having to talk to them again." And I'm just, it's just the the more you the more the bigger a problem you make it be, the harder it is to fix, you know. So I uh, yeah, I recognize the uh, the lack of weight loss as the problem that it is, but I'm not going to blow it up to be bigger than it is because it's 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 merely something that I have to work on, same as it was when I started, you know. I'm not worse off now than when I started. And uh, I don't have to treat myself worse than when I started. Is, is, is basically the way it goes for me. Like uh, with Japanese, I haven't been really putting in enough time to learn that. I still know, you know, hiragana. Um, I can still read it just fine. I can't read katakana very well at all. But uh, hiragana I can read pretty much fine. I've got, I've got that stuff committed to long term memory. But I haven't been practicing it, you know, and I could, I could, you know, be disappointed in myself and, and upset with myself and mad that I'm not able to commit to it and, you know, all this kind of stuff. I could do that, yeah. Oh, dear. Really? Oh, I didn't think you'd be able to hit me like that. I should have just shot the abomination, but whatever. Yeah, I could, I could really get myself mad about it. But, um, I think the the reality is that I'm still better than I was when I started, and, um, I'll, I'll be able to get into it eventually anyway, and if I keep stressing myself out over it, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hop into it and get, uh, get going on it anymore, and that's, that's kind of how I feel about a lot of the things, so. Anyway, weight loss hasn't been going well, but. I, uh, I'm hoping, you know, every day I'm hoping that today's the day, and I'm, I'm, I'm working towards it, and then I disappoint myself, and I'm like, why? But, uh, today's the day, for sure. Probably. <laughs> that was a quick game, too. 8.37. It's impressive. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe, see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.